Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. For today's video, we're going to be doing something a little different. I actually got a couple new products to try. Um, so it's going to be going to be like a first impressions kind of thing. I was really excited to try the new Anastasia Spring Launch. So I have the Riviera palette. I have the So Hollywood Loose Highlighter as well as... This is probably my favorite part of the launch, is the new Dewy Set Setting Mist. Um, so we're going to go ahead and try out all these products today. Yeah, so for today for primer, I'm going to be going in with the new Jouer, well, not new, semi-new, um, new to me at least, uh, Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer, and I'm just going to go ahead and, whoa, not my shade, but this is going to be fine. It's just to prime the eyes. This is super high coverage. If, if you need anything covered up, I definitely recommend this just right off the bat. It is super, super full coverage, lots of pigment. So we're just going to go ahead and play with the palette and kind of see what look I come up with. So I'm just going to go into the shade Estate, tap off the excess, and then just go right into the crease with the shade, kind of get like a good transition color set. I just I prefer to do that because then it like gives you more lid space and I just I like it more so I'm gonna go in with a more detailed brush this is the JH32 and I'm gonna go in with the shade Bahamas and really just pack that in the crease and keeping it more towards like middle as well whoa that is pigmented I'm going to go in with Cans, which is that purple shade. And I'm just going to take that right on the outer. I think I'm going to cut the crease, so I'm just going to take a little flat detailer brush I'm going to be taking the JH42 which looks something like this it's just super small and flat and I'm going to go back in with the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer just take a little bit on the back of my hand and carve out the crease because I really want to go in with I think I'm going to take Inheritance and go all over the lid with that, which is that like really rich, bright gold color. I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to go back in with Cans which is this color right here, and then put that packet, rather I'm gonna pack it out in the outer V. And to really just blend the two together. Thanks. Wow, pretty good color right now. And then, are you kidding me? What? What? It's just kind of brighten it back up since we did lose some of that color while blending and I didn't want that to fade away. 
So now that I went ahead and got the excess fallout cleaned up, we're going to go ahead and start with the Faith Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. This stuff, I'm telling you, if you want to look poreless and perfect and like your skin is completely airbrushed all on its own, just get yourself some of this primer. I'm telling you, you it's expensive. It's $52, but it is so worth it in my mind. Today's foundation, I'm going to be going in with the L'Oreal Infallible um, Freshwear Foundation. This has easily become, I think, my favorite foundation um, ever. Is that crazy? Uh, it is so dewy and it looks like skin. It's so nice and it's unlike anything I've used before. To blend in my foundation super, super quick. I like using big sponges like this because I basically, I mean, granted it's not blended in perfectly, but I basically have my entire face cut. I'm going to be going in with my JHO2 and my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and just bronzing up the skin further and kind of setting the cream that we just put down as well. Seychelles, which is one of my favorite blush colors ever, and it's primer infused, and it's like the perfect nude. It goes with any look, and I'm just going to go ahead and take that on my JH06 brush. I love brushes like this that are just super fluffy, and they just apply blush so nicely, so I'm just going to take them on the apples of my cheeks and brush it backwards. highlight in the shade so Hollywood set my face because this always makes your highlights stand out more and this is the Anastasia Dewey set setting mist also gorgeous packaging excess and just hit the high points of the face that is beautiful are on and ready to go and now we're going to go back to the lower lash line and I think I'm going to do like a pop of color. Um, I think I'm just going to go in with coastline and kind of just buff that out along the bottom, take Bahamas and put that in like the middle and then do Seychelles on the inner corner which is that like really pretty like teal blue.
on the lower lash line and we're gonna finish off with a lip and then we will be done. And just gonna pop on the shade Nude List from Maybelline. It's this new cream that I got and it's like the perfect nude for any. Perfect, and there you guys have it. This is the finished makeup look. Alright guys, so that is all I have for you today. This is the finished look. I really hope that you guys liked it. The Riviera palette was amazing. So Hollywood highlighter. I mean, it speaks for itself. It's absolutely stunning. I might go get the shade Snowflake since So Hollywood is slightly dark on me. Enjoyed the Dewy set by Anastasia. This is very, very good. It's very refreshing. The mist is very fine, so it's not like going to leave chunks on your face and take off your makeup where you put the setting spray. But all in all, I really loved all of the products that I used. And I really hope you guys liked today's video. Stay tuned for more and be sure to hit that subscribe button with the notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload a video. Bye guys.